All right, so this is severely redneck. So the gate is pulled open by the bungee cord against the tree. And there is water, case of water blocking that down there. And then we got a step-in fence there with some zip ties. And the top of this fence flops down. So I have to get something to connect that I can zip tie here and connect to the top and hold the top up higher. That'll make me feel better. But in no way, shape, or form is this fence going to keep anybody in that wants to jump or dig or really go through it. Just visual. So it goes there, goes through the garden behind the grill, and it gets floppy back there. And goes behind the pallet couch. And it should be far enough behind that they don't think that they can jump over the couch and get out. So I think if I prop that up with something that'll make it look even higher and they won't even attempt it. But it goes behind the pallet chair and that's floppy too. I think if I secure that up it looks a little better. And then 50 feet of fencing was not enough because I was going to go around this wood pile but instead we stopped here and we've got a slightly broken chair kind of patching that hole there. Um, so it doesn't look like you can get through. Again, if they really wanted to, they could, but this is gonna be supervised only. And then the fence starts again behind the swing, and it should be far enough back that we could actually swing uh, with the dogs loose out here. And it's that one is right snug up against the fire thing. We might have to rearrange that as we use firewood and move stuff around, but so I had to cut the section there and start it over here. And it flops down again. It gets real floppy here. I might put another another stake here. Or maybe just putting, you know, the extension on the top will help. But Gary's beer fridge is inside, technically. So we fenced in this beer fridge too. And I don't really like how there's gaps from there, so I wonder if there's a way to bungee cord that over there or something to make it a little closer right here. Until there, there's a chair here so nobody feels like they can get through. Um, and then 99% of the dogs, this is gonna be okay, but that goes right under the trailer and out. So before we have certain dogs visiting us, we're gonna have to put lattice at the bottom of that bench I think that's pretty much it. So, excuse me, Noodle. He's not even coming off the deck because he doesn't have a leash on. You know. You're a good boy. Do you want a test? Come on. Come on. Yes, water. Do you want to test your new setup? What do you think? Do you feel naughty? Because you're not on a leash? Oh no. What do you think? It's exhausting. Yeah, that carpet's trash. We gotta throw it away. Yeah. You're not being too adventurous. That's the air curtain your daddy has to hang back up. What do you think? Do you wanna hang out here while we have a fire? Will you be smart and not burn yourself on fire? What do you think? Do you like it? Is it safe and secure? You can't dig holes here, buddy. We paid a lot for that stone. <laughs> we probably need to put more stone down. She can't dig holes here. What do you think? Can you hop up? Yeah. Is that your new bed? See, we only dog beds, Mama. I got a couch. Yeah. You good boy. <gasps> Are you a good boy? Do you like it? Say goodbye, everybody. Come visit us. We have fabulous accommodations now. And bring cookies. <laughs>